The first thing we need to do with this problem is convert the two angular speeds we're given from revolutions per minute, RPM, into radians per second. Because the equations that we have, the physics equations we have, don't work with units of revolutions per minute. It has to be radians. So first off, for the initial speed, omega naught of 120 revolutions per minute. We'll convert this into radians per second by first using the fact that 2 pi radians is 1 revolution. And then to convert from minutes into seconds, we then have to divide by 60, because 1 minute is 60 seconds. So if we do this calculation, we find that omega naught is 12.57 radians per second. Now the final angular speed is omega, which is given as 280 revolutions per minute. Now we'll use the exact same method to convert this into radians per second. We'll multiply by 2 pi to convert from revolutions into radians, then we'll divide by 60 to convert from minutes into seconds. And this gives us a final angular speed of 29.32 radians per second. Now let's actually get to solving the problem. Part A of the problem asks to determine the angular acceleration. So angular acceleration is pretty easy to solve. We just take the change in angular velocity and divide by the time interval. So the final omega minus the initial omega divided by time. And we found the final omega to be 29.32 radians per second. Initial is 12.57 radians per second. And the time interval is 4.0 seconds. So if we put this into a calculator, we find that the angular acceleration is equal to 4.188 radians per second squared, which can be rounded as 4.2 radians per second squared. Now let's get on to part B. Part B asks about the tangential and linear accelerations on a specific point on the edge of the wheel two seconds after the acceleration has begun. So to solve this problem, we can kind of use some kinematics concepts, but the first thing that we need to figure out is what the instantaneous angular velocity is at the two second mark. Now remember that from our kinematics equations, that the speed at a certain point in time is equal to the initial speed plus the acceleration multiplied by the time interval. So we can apply this to find out what the angular speed is at the two second mark. So the initial angular speed is 12.75 radians per second plus the acceleration of 4.188 radians per second squared multiplied by the time interval of two seconds. And this tells us the instantaneous angular velocity at that point is 20.95 radians per second. So now that we have the instantaneous angular velocity at that point in time. Now we want to use the formulas we have to find the radial and tangential components of the acceleration. So the radial component for acceleration is equal to the square of the angular speed times the radius. This is a formula that is useful to have memorized. So this is 20.95 radians per second squared, the whole thing is squared, multiplied by the radius of the wheel. The problem tells us the wheel has a diameter of 61 centimeters, or 0.6 meters, but because that's a diameter and we want a radius, we have to divide that by 2. So if we put that into a calculator, then we get an, uh, an acceleration, again this is the radial component, of 130 meters per second squared. Now let's use our formula for the tangential acceleration. And remember that the tangential acceleration is equal to the angular acceleration multiplied by the radius. So we found the, the, ang we found the angular acceleration earlier as 4.188 radians per second squared. And we'll multiply by the radius. Once again, this is 0.6 meters divided by two. And if we put that into a calculator, then we get 1.3 meters per second squared. 
And so that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.